Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We're not in Foundry VTT. This is a quick update on the progress of mods for version 13 because we've had a significant move forward. MIDI QOL has just hit for version 13. So if you are looking to update, you can kind of move whenever you're ready. However, just be aware there will be some little bugs and things like that. We already know that there is an issue with um, with the chat spamming problems that is actually to do with the D&D &D engine. MIDI unfortunately compounds that problem that already exists. So you might want to wait for the update to the game engine before you do that. That is to, I believe, 5.1, I think. Might have made that up. Um, but MIDI is there. And because MIDI is there, CPR... So uh, a cauldron of plentiful resources, <laughs> must remember its new name, has also dropped for version 13. I strongly suspect that that means GPS, so Gambit's pre-mades, will be hot on the heels of that soon, although he's not actually told us um, an ETA for that at the moment. But that is kind of big news, and I know some of you are waiting for that. I personally am going to hold off a little bit longer before... I update uh, my live game because I'm going to basically clone that entire live game onto a version 13 with all those things and check everything works before I move. Um, and I'm not planning to do that in the next week or two. There's no reason for me to move that game. And I suggest that you kind of do the same. What we're looking at on the screen here is the uh, in Posny, who is the uh, Tim Posny is the chap who I can say, so he owns MIDI QOL. I say he owns it because there's so many contributors, it's not fair to say that he builds it all by himself. He has so much support and testing and everything else from lots of other people. Um, but this is on his Discord, uh, where, uh, well, actually, it's Moto Moto tends to keep the list updated of what's available. So we've got all sorts of things. Um, anything you can see with a green tick is ready to go. I will zoom in on this on the video. I probably already have. Um, just so that you can see what is actually currently um, showing as working perfectly in version 13. Question marks means it's not there yet. Um, and the odd one where you can see that there is a, uh, a gravestone, that means it's not being updated as far as we know. It's either been abandoned or it's just irrelevant now. So we've got some really important things, automated animations for those that you like them. I use that. Uh, aura effects and things like that. Active auras, those are already. Um, notice about time isn't if you use that a lot. Uh, so just be aware of that. That Boulder's Gate inspired HUD is that's all ready to go. Lots of these have been ready to go for a while. Uh, the Carolingian UI, that is also ready to go. Carousel Combat Tracker, so, so that one that we use from Ripper, I use all the time. CPR is in there as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, <clears throat> other animation ones are all ready to go. They weren't hugely impacted by it, which is great. Um, the D threads that I no longer use, uh, they're all ready to go. Dice So Nice and Dice Tray, really important mods. Those ones, they're all ready to go. Um, but some of the other ones around um, around the MIDI QOL, or the MIDIverse as it's known, are not quite ready. Uh, dynamic effects using active effects. That apparently is not fully ready yet. Now for me, that goes hand in glove with MIDI. Um, so I'm slightly surprised that MIDI's ready and that's not ready at the same time. I guess that will be coming very soon, um, but currently that's still showing is not quite there. So again, I would hold off for at least a few days, preferably a couple of weeks, or just finish the game you're running before you update. Um, things like Emote Bar is in there, so Gambit's Emote Bar, that's in there. Uh, FX Master, again, Gambit's in there. Uh, this got Gambit's Pre-Mades, yes, as I mentioned, that's still got a question mark, so that's not quite there yet. But we have got things like um, Item Piles, which I use a lot, again, is in there. We've got Levels, if you use that, it's in there as well. Um, but again, you can just see what these are just by me kind of scanning through. There we've got that beautiful MIDI QOL, but the Item Showcase isn't ready. Uh, some people use it, some people don't. Now, Monks, we know that there are issues with Monks. Monks Active Tile Triggers, for me, is a big one that I use all of the, the time. There are some significant challenges with updating that to version 13. Monk is working on it, but he's been hitting the ones that are easier to achieve. So Blood Splats, Combat Details, uh, they're done. Obviously, he's working on the other bits as well. Little details are done as well. 
Um, but for a lot of people, it's the tile triggers one that they're really waiting for, which it is for me. Um, Monk's Token Bar is another important one for a lot of people. They use that a lot. There are alternatives to that, um, but there we go. Um, things like Patrol, we looked at that it was just yesterday. That's all there. Um, Portal is all ready to go. You can see loads and loads of things are ready for here. Simple calendar, cover calculators, they're not there yet. Um, things like cover calculators, they kind of depend on MIDI um, being finished first. So sometimes these things have to go in a particular order. We've got my beloved Spotlight Omnisvert search by Ripper is ready. But we've also got things like Tagger that I use all the time. Time's Up uh, is in there, which is really important for the MIDIverse as well. Um, but yeah, you can see we've got loads of things in there. If you use things like Tokenizer and Torch, they're all ready to go. Universal Animations is one of the few animations, one that's not been confirmed yet. But there we go. So lots and lots of things are ready for it. Um, it's mostly Monk's bits or some of Monk's bits that we're sort of waiting on um, and the rest of the MIDI stuff to uh, to get polished off following that. So Gambits and the item, uh, the community item showcase, etc. So just a quick one, just wanted to drop that and let you know that uh, that's where things are. That's the state of play. Quite exciting. Of course, if you are a MIDI user and you want to jump in and start playing around with that in version 13, um, really helpful if you're on the Discord that if you do encounter problems and bugs, uh, you can report them to help fix it. What I would say is if you don't, if you're not already really familiar with um, with MIDI and how it works, now is not a good time to jump in Discord asking lots of questions about how it works um, because they're bug fixing. Or rather, they will be bug fixing over the next sort of few weeks as little things come up. But if you already know what you're doing um, and then you're encountering problems, yeah, report them, help them out. Brilliant. Thank you. That's it. Out of here. See you later.